Hello everybody and welcome in to our Let's Play Coral Island series. This is episode nine. Come on Daisy, get comfy. <laughs> Daisy Cat decides she's going to try to take my lap and then she decides not to. Okay. Oh, so we have a lofty goal. We've gotten to level 30 of the mines. We have to get from 30 to 40 in one go. Good news, we're ready to launch our Pickstarter campaign, but we can't do it without you. Come by the museum so we can launch it together. Okay, I guess we're going to make a quick stop at the museum to start the Pickstarter. Harvest all these crops, yeah. <laughs> it's like, I think it's Wednesday, so the store's not open. Gonna water this. It's the seventeenth, so We're running out of days. But we can plant stuff. But some things take a certain amount of time and they won't be able to grow in time. So I'm going to go ahead and just store us clothes. But I want to grow stuff. And we got a sprinkler not being used. So we're just going to go ahead and plant eight other wild seeds around it. Going to run in here, check our TV, see what tomorrow's weather is going to bring. Welcome to WBC, your main weather-related news source. The forecast covers Coral Island and the surrounding areas. Sun will be out tomorrow. It'll be clear and sunny. Stay hydrated, everybody. Okay. So sunny. <laughs> We're going to go ahead. Because there's no point. We got multiple tools that... Got an axe that needs upgraded. Watering can, how that needs upgraded. No reason we shouldn't have uh, bronze being processed. So we're going to take our hammer and our pick. And oh my goodness, we get a really cool sword uh, in the fire mine. From getting to one of the levels. I got it on my uh, stream the other day and it's like, ooh, that's gonna be my new favorite. <laughs> see. Don't have anything. Making sure I haven't dropped off any uh, thing that needs to be processed. Let's see. Coconuts are only 16. Violets are 19. Nola is 25, but we're going to need that for oil. Flowers are 23. 23. We might see coffee shops open, maybe. We might spend a little bit of our money to get some, uh, something that's going to be better than our forageables. Hey, I will take another candy tree seed. After a year of gameplay, I finally actually got my first tree farm started. 
on my uh, Twitch stream. Fire beetle, I can't catch that yet. Check trash cans. Trash. Hoping for some uh, <laughs> more candy tree seeds. And I've decided, based on my current playthrough for Twitch... <laughs> yeah, I'm not selling ores. I mean, I'm at the point where I'm having to go back and farm more bronze ore, and I'm trying to get to the bottom of the fire mine, so it's like, yeah... I'm not gonna sell ore. <laughs> End up needing it too much later on. Hey Diana, good to see you here. We're all waiting for Scott to arrive. This is a really bad habit of his. Look at that, everyone is here. Well, almost everyone. I invited Lily too, but she said she'll see, but very unlikely. It's too bad she's not here, but what can I do? I'm still not sure why I'm here, or if this... What did you call it? Pig starter? Pig starter mayor. Right, pig starter. I'm not sure if this idea of yours will work. You say other people give us money to build the museum. But why would other people care about our little museum? It's so little. You underestimate the power of crowdfunding, Mayor. There are tons of successful crowdfunding campaigns. This one's going to be one of them. Still don't get it, but I'm going to trust you. Is it okay to trust? It is okay to trust him, right? <laughs> Yes, Mayor. I've personally looked over everything and done my research. It should be fairly risk-free for us. We're already on our way to building an expanded museum, but if this campaign's successful, we can make it even better than the original plan. When Millie... When this campaign is successful... Alright. Only one thing left to do. Time to officially launch this campaign. Macy, will you take a photo of this momentous moment? Will do. Okay, everyone, huddle up. And three, two, one, smile. All right, here we go. There it is, we're live. Now all we have to do is sit back, wait for one week, and see what we've got. Thanks for all your help, Diana. Now this doesn't mean you shouldn't stop donating to the museum, though. We'll always welcome anything you have for us. Yep. I keep working for my freebies. We're gonna run over by the store. The store is closed, but check to see if we have any requests on the board. Yep, we don't have any requests. Okay, pick starter. Let's try giant and explore the ocean. Okay. Just wanna double check we didn't have any uh, requests 
sitting on us either, so. See, when does the coffee shop open? Is this the forageable? Probably shops opened. I don't think they open till noon. Oh, and they're closed on Wednesday, so they're closed today anyway. Hey, okay, coffee shop, what do you got? Green tea, donut, chocolate chip muffin, cookies. I mean, donut's 255, but it's 385 gold. Coffee's 50. I'm just gonna hold on to my money. If Fish and Sips was open, I'd probably... Might buy some chami juice. I forget what the price is, though. Dribbles are out. Okay, let's go clear our inventory and <laughs> cross our fingers. Like flowers, eighteen cherries is fifty. Twenty five, twenty three. So thirty is like the best we got over here. I'm not gonna eat my only cherries. Turnips are 33. Our potatoes are 50. Sugar cane's 42. Let's take five potatoes. Take eight sugar cane. off the bee. Let's hold on to the net for just a minute in case. I'm not sure what I would find over here. Check your trash. I'm gonna go back and dump off the uh, fish, the bug net anyway. So we have extra space in our inventory. Explosive is 50. I'm not buying a rope. No task. Okay. Um, let's see. Two of these would be a hundred. We're going to buy ten. We're going to hope we get lucky, but we're going to just hedge our bets just a little bit.
We got bronze pickaxe, so at least we're not going through with the base pickaxe, so breaking stuff's a lot quicker. Let's go ahead and drop off our trash. Bug net. All we got on us is food and tools. Let's see if we can free this first earth giant. Got some barrels and crates. I will take some bronze ore. Got stone. And nothing. If you don't smash it, you won't know. Without breaking a rock, we already got three bronze ores, so... Bronze ore is down here. Let's see one. So we'll see how fast we can find the way down if we can get lucky. Use our first explosive right here. And it was a good call. We got our way down. Like, we got masteries. Let's see. Forging. Sprint speed. Chance to forge better items. Forge better items. Mining. Chance to break surrounding rocks when mining. Increased chance of finding geodes. We're going to go with rock domino because that's our best chance of helping us get down faster right now. Uh, chance to harvest double kelp. That's what we're going for first. No brainer for that one. Let's see if we can do this. Ooh, and we have a vein. A vein that did not trail very far. <laughs> but I'll take it. And we got our way down pretty quick, so... are doing good. I came over here for that and found our way down. You know what? We're going to take it. Rather than see if there's any bronze up there, we're just going to take the way down. Take the wind. We can always come back to the mines for bronze. Geode, I will take it. <laughs> he is stuck on the other mob. Oh, that's funny. 
He was stuck on the slime. There's some boxes. No, that's not. Where I had a feeling the hole was, <laughs> was not worth the uh, using that on. We already got our hole down to, uh, 36. Take the vein and leave the ore. Just, we got more than we'll get out of those two brocks. We got 16 uh, coal down here, so I'd say that's pretty good, actually. We're actually making better progress than I thought we would. We're gonna use... I mean, we're already 36 down, so I'm gonna go ahead and use the dynamite right there. We are just... We are getting lucky. I will take it. See two ores over there. Not seeing anything to smash. So let's go get our ores. place a dynamite right there. <laughs> I heard it. We are at level 38. We are two levels away. Nothing in the sack. There are some boxes to break. Ore in a compost. Is there any ore down here? Not seeing ore, but I got a couple more boxes. Mix of stone and wood. We got our way down. Grab our ore. Hop on down. 39. I mean, it's 320, and I mean, we're right there. We're doing really good. runs in a mine where that last 10 levels, I mean, it took me three and four, five game days. Just repeatedly going back to the mine, trying to get those last 10 levels. Just luck was not on my side. Especially when you don't got a lot of food. 
We're at 39. We got food. We got explosives. And there is our hole. Just coming over here if there's anything else to break. There is. Eh, compost. But you never know. I've gotten geodes out of them before, so I always, tr always chance it. We have unlocked the water mine. Jamu juice! Yay! This is why I like Jamu juice. <laughs> 100 extra stamina for 2 hours. <laughs> you get 300 stamina from this. I'm gonna break these. We got rocks. Nada. And... More rocks. Spec the stone. succeed first it is that make giant stone clear it human have excited to see other giants I am where's the other giant ah giant later come upstairs earth giant is come human we'll see So if you remember, he said he couldn't even go into the mines to try to figure out what was going on. So breaking that tablet, I'm guessing not only breaks the curse, but um, the barrier that maybe the curse had on the mines. Boom, boom. A statue is missing. Missing it isn't, woman. Rhea's grog now. But where is Grog? Here he is not. Chieftain? Oh, there is Grog. Aha, there is a human. Wait, human can see Grog? Yes, but nice woman this is. Free grog because this woman. Homan, this grog, earth giant. Boom goom, homan. Hey, grog. Thank you for freeing grog. You're so cute. <laughs> hmm. Still stone is other giant. Curse again it must be. Hmm. The fire giant, where? Three other giants, woman must. Wait, will Grog and I in village. Goom goom, woman. We didn't eat any of our food. So we are going to... Go ahead and pop home, because we do not have inventory space for anything else. Like, I know this ain't home. But I need to know something. What does it cost? 3,000 coins. Okay. Because we're going to want to get this axe upgrade to silver as soon as possible. Because 
Silver mines are going to take some more effort. Now, let's see. I got... Oh, I got geode. But I have no space. Drop off wood, compost, trash, wild seeds. Stone. Bug stuff. Bug stuff. Monster stuff, I mean. Let's see. Drop that off. That's five bars. Need to upgrade watering can, axe, and hoe. So we at least need five more bars smelted up. So go ahead and key that up. Break open this geode. Diorite. That is new as well. I'm gonna go donate these two to the museum. I know we won't get too far into the mine, but... Bronze doesn't take too, too long to process, so... Ooh, we are one away from another reward. back and I hop back into the silver mine. Well, <clears throat> enter for the first time the water mine. And right off the bat, we got a vein. Eight hey, ore, that's not bad. Some of these rocks take one hit. Some of these take two. Once we fight for the that sheesh words. Once we find our first silver ore, we'll see how long it takes us to break it. Don't look like that is right now. Yep, um no, worn out. It's 
so let's see. Come on. I don't think we'll get down to level 5 unless we get really lucky. Just trying to find some silver ore. Not too bad. Two hits. So, just two hits on the silver ore. That's not too bad. We'll definitely want our pickaxe upgrade before we go into the next mine, though. Well, I guess we got lucky in the uh, earth mine. Not having to do multiple attempts to get through those ten levels, so. I mean, we're already at four. Silver and our way down. Yeah, sugar cane. Take the oars and let's go. We got sixteen ore. One shy. We are one or shy of being able to, uh, smell that five bars for Full upgrade. I don't want to waste the Jamu juice yet. I figure I'll use the Jamu juice uh, on a fresh run at the mine, like first thing in the morning. Right now, we're just kind of seeing how lucky we can get. I mean, if we could get to level 10 today, that'd be awesome. There's seven. I see boxes and a mushroom. It's 10 p.m. It's going to tell us it's getting late in two hours. Sugar cane, eat a potato.
We're at level eight. If we can get to level 10, that's 20 levels. We've cleared of mines today. Take him out. Conserve our energy and use an explosive. I guess on hitting rocks, that only take the one hit. Break. And I hope for a uh, rock domino nearby, maybe that'll give me the way down. And coal, so I can't say too much about that. Yes, I'm starting to feel tired. 1120. It's one. Final attempt. We are going to head out of here because it's 1140. It's going to tell us it's getting late and we're going to need to get to sleep so we don't have another day of passing out. <laughs> oh, there's the farm. There we go. We get silver made overnight. The quartz has been donated. Yep, it's getting late. But seeing as we're on our property. Grab those. Drop off the monster bits. Drop off explosives, just so we don't do anything. Made 75. Oh yeah, we get a reward for uh, freeing the giant. Come over here to quest. We get 150. We get 300 when we free the water giant. We have mail. I can't believe this. We actually reached our Kickstarter goal in just one day. Oh man, this is so exciting. I didn't think we'd get there so fast. Since we hit our goal so early, we're adding some stretch goals for the campaign. Basically, our museum is going to be bigger and grander than originally planned, but I'll have to talk to Mayor Connor and Millie about this. I'll update you again soon, Scott. Hulman, giants forget Hulman can't enter village. Come to village, I open for Hulman. Hi. Go around in here like we've been doing. Weather Channel. Welcome WBC, your main weather-related news source. Forecast covers Coral Island and the surrounding area. Tomorrow is going to be rainy. Woohoo! Rainy. As much as I'd love to... Actually, nothing else really needs to be upgraded right now. 
I mean, yeah, it'd be nice to get the axe upgraded, but... This is going to be so much more useful, having the watering can upgraded. Because then we can water in a strip of three. Next upgrade after that, we can upgrade... Um, it'll be a three by three up watering. Nice. Water all this stuff so we don't have to worry about it. I know we could probably grow some more crops. I don't know how long everything takes. I'm just going to leave it be. I don't want to go buy crops and then overspend my money and not have enough to upgrade the watering can. So we're going to see what we can catch and find while we are out and about and Using some time to, uh, before the store opens and the blacksmith opens. Mushrooms. Mushrooms must be the word of the day today. Sad, because I can't eat them anyway. They smell delicious when they're getting sautéed and stuff, but... Mushrooms are a no-go for me. I like to live. <laughs> I is allergic. We did it, Diana! I knew this campaign was gonna kick butt from the get-go. Woohoo! <laughs> I love his confidence. Is entering a new era just with this success, Diana. We'll learn much more when we know our history. My parents never explained why they named me Suki and my sister Alice. I mean, Alice seems like a more, you know, normal name, but Suki, I guess, is a little different. trash can over here. I hope I can stop acting like his mother now. Not exactly fun to have to remind him to know, you know, eat and um, shower. <laughs> In case you don't know, he's referring to Scott. He's been... Scott's been so obsessed with the pick starter that uh, he had to remind uh, Scott to eat and sleep. Your grandparents' farm was neglected for a long time. You shouldn't—you should have seen it. It wasn't a pretty sight. Mayor Connor was going to turn it into a community garden before you moved in. I was right there with Millie when she got the news about the campaign. Never seen her light up like that before. I'm down here. Hi, Betty! Mayor Connor put me in charge of town's decorations and landscaping. I like doing it, but it's a lot of work. Thankfully, I have Pablo to help. I forget about these two trash cans down here. So it's like, well... Since I'm killing time. Of 
Water gate's open. Be prepared before you go in. Yep. I've met interesting folks here through coffee. A hunter, some scientists, a new farmer escaping the city life. Winks. <laughs> Like, who wouldn't want to escape city life once in a while? A lot of people go to the mountains and the beach just to find some peace and quiet. Museum is nice and warm now. Not too hot, not too cold. It's a comfortable place to work in spring. Yeah, I never thought about that. I guess you would work in the museum with the bugs. If you're interested in Alien, you should read this book by Professor Kiep. He has interesting theories about ET intelligence. I read it back in university. Hello, Fizz. Fizz looks happy today. It is 9.10. The store is opened. It's good to see you in such good spirits, Diana. I can't ask Paul to get groceries. He'd just forage some vegetables by the lake or something and bring them home. <laughs> That's funny. The baked goods here are made fresh every day. Don't you worry, Diana. I can vouch for that because I bake everything myself. And it looks so good. The young ones these days, they can find ways of doing things that we never thought would have thought of. Asking strangers to fund our museum renovation? I would have never thought it was going to work. So the only thing we couldn't plant was cauliflower. Everything else would have time to grow. So we'll go get our watering can set for upgrade and then see what money we got left. Upgrade tools. It's 3,000 coins for that. Oh yeah, I forgot. The watering can is the one tool that does not need wood. Okay. Watering can will be done in a day. Down to 874. I'm thinking I may not even worry about crops for the rest of the season. Okay, we'll drop off our crops. And we're not going to worry about that because we don't have a full 15 or full 25 to smelt anyway. Oh yeah, go to Giant Village. Coconuts. <laughs> oh, 
home in here. Here, Holman. Up come, Chieftain forgot Holman cannot enter village like Giant can. So Grog opened way for Holman. You might need a steps. And it's not working. Hmm. Um, who may can no watch? Who may go back? Not enough, woman. Have to close eyes. Now we can get in Giant Village. Did Homan open eyes? Your options. I did at the end. Sorry. No, I didn't. It was closed the whole time. I never closed them. I saw the whole thing. Like, it don't matter what he says. He doesn't believe that you didn't see anything, so. I did at the end. Sorry. Hmm. Okay. Grog still doesn't get it, so guess not matter much. We open now. Come home in with Grog. That Grog house. That water giant house. That chieftain house. That wind giant house. That. That house chieftain will tell. Rog no tell. Too sad. Ah, Grog forget. Here Grog can help Hooman. Bring tools to Grog and Grog will make better. But just a little better. We're stronger, need more giant. Okay, that all. Goom goom, human. What is tool enchantment? Enchantment applies special effects to your tools and weapons. Start enchanting, select the weapon or tool you want to enchant. Place an appropriate amount of gems, artifacts, or fossils to fuel the enchantment. Decide which enchantment you want to keep on your tool or weapon. Enchant my tool. And so you can do this, they give you five gems to use. Enchantment. Select tool, my pickaxe. Art gem, enchant tool. You get extra drop. 5% chance to get more items. And I get 250 for completing that quest. That they basically give me for free. Now, once we free another giant, we will have the fast travel activated for here. Now we got five candy tree seeds from that. Now we run home, drop off the forageables we picked up and these earth gems, and hop over to the mines. Yep, that's the box. That's the extras that we're trying to find duplicates for. There's the box, because we got those extra gems and these extra gems. Which we can use for enchanting tools. We 
we go. Forgeables are dropped off. And we paid for them, so no reason not to grab our explosives. Now we're going to go back to the water mine and see how far we can get. Wait, reach level 10. Jude. Like, I'll definitely take a Jude right off the bat. Trying to break the easier rocks first and trigger a rock domino. There we go. Definitely be helpful when I can get the money to upgrade uh, the pickaxe again. That's going to be a chunk of money. Go ahead and take out the slime, because I don't know if there's any ore back there. There is ore, but it's on... You can avoid him. We'll take it. So we're on level eight. So we definitely should make level ten without an issue. To say or yes, there is or. Double or, double or, double or. Hey, three double ores out of five is pretty, pretty good. We are at level nine. Is 
Double ore on the two ores I got here is pretty good. Rock Domino. Let's see, is there any boxes or stuff to smash? There's a barrel. Oh, there's some boxes in the back. Back here. Like, come on. Let us get to level 10. Like, come on, level 10. Yes, here is where we're going to drink a Jami juice because it's 2.30. We got plenty of time to investigate the mines. Like the other floors were nice. This one's being stingy. Although we have gotten 33 uh, silver. And four levels. Now the reason I broke that big rock is I have seen... Ooh, geode. This is geode, but it's a geode. Um, I have... One scene at entrance underneath the giant rock, so that's why I broke it, just in case. And it's a little ten. What do we get? Candy tree seeds. They used to give us a bunch of jammy juice. I guess they thought it was a little overpowered. Which I can't say they're wrong. Go ahead and take the way down. Got some ores. The boxes to smash. Shrocks. See if we can find this way down. We got snacks and time, we can make it to 15. Another mystery Jew. I'll take it. Okay, we're just going to calm that. Drink a Jama juice because still did not find the way down. Slime, are you guarding the way down? Nope, you are not. Oh, 
Like, they don't have a whole lot of rocks left to smash. Um, level 13. If we can get lucky over here. I really don't want to go over by the orcs. I do not want to deal with the bee. I hate the bees. end up breaking this whole thing of rocks over here and not find it. Oh, we found it. We're at level 14. Eight, 15. Yeah, I don't mind you. Like, grab the ore, hop on down. So we got our hole down already. Any ore boxes? Two ore. The boxes. Hold down. leave a vein behind. Let's see, jump in. We are at 17. I love how he just keeps on sleeping. Like, we didn't directly hit him, so he just keeps sleeping. Got some wild seeds, some coal. Now let's see if we can find a way down. Because we are so close to 20. Let's not leave this rock alone. It'd be pretty bad if we left that wood rock alone and cleared all the rocks and I've done that before. It's like just completely ignored a rock, went where the cluster of rocks was and the lone rock was the way down. It's 
I love how he's just sleeping. Like, if he's not awake, he's not gonna aggro. Where are we at? It's level 18. I have to eat another candy tree seed. There's 19. There's ore over there. Ooh. I avoided the monsters. So close quarters for that one over there. We are level 20. Uh, Amber Shield Ring. Small chance to completely block damage. Go ahead and put that on. Any boxes down here to smash? Nope. Sometimes there isn't, sometimes there's not. Just random chance. Now it's nine o'clock, so we are basically just gonna grab what we can get. There we go. And we're gonna head home. We got a hundred. Nice. We got a hundred silver while we were in there. A nice haul for the amount of time we were in there. I got three geodes to break open tomorrow. <clears throat> Call it a night. See if we leveled anything up. Woohoo! Now the sorting can begin. We leveled up mining to five. We got stone chest and stone arch. So we're going to call it here and I will see you on the next one.